Hi guys, Steve here from Steve Ellie Survival. It's the EDC Survival Kit Part 9. So, let's have a bit of a recap. What have we got in here so far? We've got dental floss. We've got needles. We've got waterproof paper and a pencil and a pencil sharpener. And we've got a condom, we've got an emergency whistle, we've got snare wire, we've got a couple of razor blades, we've got Pure tabs, water purification tablets, we've got alcohol swabs, and we've got a tea light or small candle. So the next thing we're going to look at is a wire saw. Now, some people don't like these. I didn't like them until I learned how to use them properly, and now it goes into my tin. So it can be a little bit fiddly to uh, to unwind, but that's cool. Once it's done, it's done. Now when you come to use one of these, the tendency is to pull it at an angle like that, but that just bites into the wood and uh, it doesn't really work too well. You can get there, but you'll probably end up snapping it. When you're using it, make sure it doesn't kink like that because it will snap straight away and when you're using it use the full length of the saw because if you don't then it's just going to get hot spots and that's going to break your saw straight away here's a couple of ways to uh, to use it more effectively keeping that blade straight that wire uh, saw straight um, to make sure that they're using the full length and it's not getting any undue stress So as we spoke about briefly before, you need to get the wire saw as straight as possible. If you've got it at an angle, it's just going to bite into the wood. It's not going to work. Two methods we've got then. One was a forked stick, which was literally about a hand's width longer than the saw blade itself, the wire saw itself. Um, so the thicker end of the stick it was about the same diameter as the uh, the smaller ring and then the bigger ring just fits over the thicker part of this um, like sub branch if you like that's coming off uh, and then literally just bend it into shape slip the the smaller ring over and then you should have a nice tight blade so there's the first method the second, if you want to go a little bit uh, bushcrafty with it, a good old box saw. So a couple of points to note with this. What I've done, I've chamfered off or wedged each end of this, this centre stick there, spreader stick, which is um, just slightly shorter than the, than the wire saw itself. Um, and I've notched out on these risers if you want to call them that um, which will accommodate that that center spreader bar there um, another point to note on that this notch and this notch need to be the exact same distance from here to here here to here exactly the same and then same again from here to here where the string is if you don't do that you're going to end up with a parallelogram um, and it's just going to fall apart when you try and use it. What I've done then, a bit of paracord tied together there, and then that's just wound. Keep winding, keep winding until you're nice and tight again. Okay, obviously, this is going to be a lot more, a lot tighter than, than the, uh, the single branch there, but <clears throat> if you need something quick. That's going to do the job. It's going to cut. It's going to cut whatever you need to cut. 
Um, I wouldn't go trying to cut down big old trees with it, but if you're needing to cut a branch, sort of forearm thick, just to uh, to build yourself a shelter or something, then that's gonna it's gonna work eventually a lot better than trying to do it at a, a steep angle anyway. So what I'll do, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some videos just on these. Um, so so stay tuned and uh, we'll we'll do that very very soon. Now an extremis, you could probably use that to tie something up. Um, it wouldn't be great, but it would do the job um, short term. So there's two uses, really crude cordage, and as it's intended, as a saw. Now another use for this, and again it's very crude, but it would work potentially, is you'll notice that these are different sizes. You can pass one through the other, and then you have a snare. So there's three uses from your wire saw. Get that wrapped up nice and neat, keep the kit tidy. And flat items first. Still lots of voids in there. Lots of places for little bits of uh, useful equipment. There we go. On goes the lid. Stay safe, stay alive, and I'll see you next time.